panel make of this week's stars? Raymond Miller, Michelle Bogue, Mike Williams over there. Raymond, first of all, uh, Hekia Parata, what do you make of how this has all been handled by her? Well, I think it's been a source of considerable embarrassment for the government within days of the budget. Um, it, it's, it's really, I don't think the government worries too much about um, the unions, the teacher unions. Uh, if there was a stage there, I don't think they would worry too much. But they will be very concerned about parents and, and grandparents and, and, and those who are really concerned that the quality of education for their children is going to suffer. Um, the, the thing is that um, there's something counterintuitive about associating um, class size with teacher quality. Regardless of all the research, I think many people believe that the bigger the class, the less attention children are going to get, the lower the quality. And Mr Fixit, John Key had to come in this week and try and deal with this issue, um, as he's done with other issues. It kind of reminds me of John F Kennedy and the Cuban Missile Crisis. Uh, you create the crisis and then you try and save the world from it. <laughs> and that's sort of the, the sort of feeling I got this week with John There's Key. something new to come from, from Ian, though, that they want this in contracts. This could throw up a whole new sort of Pandora's box of issues, couldn't yeah, it? I, I don't think that makes a hell of a lot of difference. I, I think this is the worst week this government has ever had, and I think this issue could be a game-changer. I spent five or six years of my life as a secondary school teacher, and anyone who believes that teaching 36 kids is the same as teaching 26 in a class is in cloud cuckoo land. I think the government was caught badly on the wrong side of this issue, and I think they will have to change their mind. It's, it's not just kids, it's parents. I'm incensed about this. I think the number's actually tw 29, not, not, not 26. Mm. It, it, would it be fair to say that the government misread what the fallout from this was going to be come budget time? I, I think this was always going to happen. You know, because uh, up till now, every other sector, public sector, has had the screws put on them for expenditure. And I think this is the education sector saying, we're the sacred cow, you can't touch us. Right? So it was always going to get to this point over something. It just happens to be this particular policy. Uh, from a PR point of view, if I was giving advice to the government <laughs> on how to handle it, I'd say start again and start again quickly because... Otherwise, you're going to have months of this discontent. Mm. You're going to have months of students uh, sitting in Simon Street blocking the traffic for no other reason that they, than they want to be on the telly uh, and have all the attention on them. Uh, I think if they were to say, right, we're going to backtrack and sit down and say, sorry, education, we need to look at how we can improve quality and reduce costs and we'll sit down and work it through with you this is only a temporary respite. We're still saying education has to look at how it's going to do things better and get better quality because, as she made the very correct point, we've had an increase in teachers. We haven't had an equal increase in effectiveness and quality of education. But from the point of view of how you manage it, I'd say take the hit now, yep. do a temporary... Uh, pull back and go on to actually some constructive working with the sector. Yeah, the problem is uh, this affects middle New Zealand. Mm. This affects Nationals' con core constituency. It's not like picking off, if you like, particular sectors within the economy. Health, education, these are core issues. And when you start really eroding quality in those core areas, then middle New Zealand will rise up and the government knows it. And that's why I think it is such a significant issue for and, them to deal with. And the with. irony is she wants the focus on quality, right? And it's been taken entirely off quality. Mm. And quality is now being interpreted as class size, which is not where she wants to be. So she has to get the focus on right. quality. And the only way to do that is to take the heat out of that issue, sit down with the teachers and say... We need to focus on quality. What does quality mean? And work that through. But give them the very strong message that things can't stay the same. All the teachers want is to be left absolutely untouched. Ian, and like I think you said, that's every unrealistic. Class, every school. This is different mm. to what Hekia Parata has been, been peddling this yeah, week. Yeah, I don't, I don't think she understands the formulas involved. I think she was badly briefed and I don't think she comprehended it. But the point I'd make is that I have an article here from The Economist, and we have one of the best education systems on earth right now in terms of reading, maths, science. We're ahead of Australia, Japan, United States, Sweden, Germany, France, United Kingdom. It is one of the jewels in our crowns is our education system. It's what sets us apart. 
as a successful country. To fiddle with it is just insane. And I guarantee there's not a single mechanic in the National Party caucus, because if there was, that person would be saying, if it works, don't fix it. Now, I think people will be angry about this, and I think it will damage the government, and that they deserve damage. But the issue is, Mike, that we are still failing some pupils. There are still kids coming out of the education system who can't get a job, who aren't prepared, who don't have the simple, okay. basic qualifications. That is called so the tail. It and may well every be. Every country has a tail, and it is a very expensive yeah. problem to fix. Yes. And if you want to put more money into it, you can teach these kids in classes of four and six. But the government's not prepared to do this. You are not going to remove the tail by piling 40 kids in the We are going to have to leave it there.